A blessed day! Welcome to another episode of Be Not Afraid. I'm your host, Edwin Valles. So we have uh, today a very special episode uh, mm. entitled, St. Joseph is Our Man. So uh, as, as the whole country consecrates herself to the protection of St. Joseph on May 1, we decided in Be Not Afraid in this particular podcast that we would like to also listen to uh, to the to the stories and the devotion of LGBT persons towards this silent and yet powerful saint, no? Saint Joseph. So uh, I have here with me in this special podcast, special Saint Joseph podcast, uh, my brothers in courage. Um, so see, parang uh, they will introduce th- themselves briefly one by one, uh, so that you'll get to know them. So kindly introduce yourself one by one uh, to our podcast viewers. Uh, Rolly. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rolly Dinas Reyes. No, I'm a guidance services specialist in UP Diliman and a member of Courage Philippines. Okay, thank you, Rolly. Adi? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Adi, Adi Parenio. Uh, I'm working in a network and uh, I'm a member of Courage since uh, 2017. Okay, thank you, Adi. And then finally, see si Brother Rap. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Rafael Gregorio, my nickname is Rap, and I'm an IT professional and I'm a member of Courage. Yan. So, yeah, sila po ang mga kapatid ko sa Courage uh, Apostolate, the Catholic Apostolate for LGBT Persons. So, lahat kami, uh, parang in a way, in love kay St. Joseph, no? So, in, in our same-sex attraction, we have expressed parang oh, we 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 are attracted to men but siguro god has a way of revisiting everything so in doon nga sa book of revelation no parang see how i make things new no so uh yung ginamit ni god yung aming same sex attraction to to fall in love with this uh, powerful saint si saint joseph so uh, this episode pag-uusapan namin yung aming devotion kay saint joseph siguro magsimula tayo doon sa Paano ba nagsimula ang ating devotion, ang ating kanya-kanyang devotion kay St. Joseph? Siguro, ma, paano tayo na-introduce sa kanya? Paano nag-develop yun across, uh, across the years? No? So, yan. So, maybe, sinong gustong magsimula ng kanilang eh, uh, sharing on the start of their devotion to St. Joseph? Yeah, siguro, pwedeng sa akin na lang. No? Uh, so, I actually realized no when i was reflecting on it no um yung aking parents kinasal sa parokya ni St. Joseph no uh, i i'm not sure lang kung Quezon City siya kung saan sa Quezon City siya pero uh yun nga kinasal sila doon that's one and then i think what what really strikes me is um yung aming uh, probinsya ay sa San Jose Nueva Ecija and the parish of St. Joseph, yung, yung cathedral ni St. Joseph sa San Jose de Besia, doon ako laging dinadala ng lola ko nung ako ay uh, bata pa. No? Sabi nga, dalingin din pa. No? So, so, ako talaga yung sinasama ng lola ko doon, lalo na pag Holy Week. Talagang, uh, yun nga, yung bonding ko sa church nagsimula dahil sa pagsama ko sa lola ko. And in that uh, in that parish, in that cathedral of St. Joseph. So parang ngayon ka lang napagtatanto na, o nga, no, parang na-nurture yung aking pananampalataya sa katolikong pananampalataya. No? Dahil uh, lagi ako napupunta sa cathedral ni San Jose. From your creation, from your conception pala, di ba? So involved na si St. Joseph sa buhay ng pamilya, no? <laughs> Oo nga. Inasal, inasal oh, exactly. Ng <laughs> Correct. So, uh, Adi, ikaw, paano well, naman nagsimula ang devotion mo kay St. Joseph? Uh, masasabi ko, Brother Edwin, um, I must admit and uh, be honest na I haven't been into any devotion so of a saint. no. Pero, what I think what started the devotion, which is, of course, sinisimulan ko pa rin naman as I'm newly, parang I would say, devotee of St. Joseph. Because, bakit ba? When the po- when Pope Francis parang declared dear of St. Joseph, I was actually parang, at, at, parang na-stand lang ako at that time na parang si, si St. Joseph, oo nga, no, parang all the while St. Joseph was behind us, nasa likod lang natin, di ba, living... Uh, tapos biglang, bakit hindi ko simula ng devotion kay St. Joseph? So, nung nagkaroon ng consecration to St. Joseph, parang din lang nag-spark. 
kasi parang masasabi ko na sa sarili ko parang Mama Mary is part of me parang parang sa ating mga SSA di ba parang yung babae lagi ang parang laging close closer to us but I never had a devotion pa rin naman kay Mama Mary na like we consecrate to Mama Mary so yung consecration ko with Saint Joseph I think that started my devotion to him di ba parang sabi ko why not start Uh, a journey with Saint Joseph and to be to be my spiritual father. So I think that started my devotion with with uh, Saint Joseph. So yeah, and so contrast sila ni Rolly. Si Rolly from the very start, bago pa sa pinanganak, because yung uh, parents na nagmarry sa Saint Joseph Parish, and then si Adi naman very recent, no? So uh, in time with the declaration of Pope Francis, na this is the year of Saint Joseph. So tignan natin si Brother Rap. <laughs> <laughs> sa akin po ano um, siguro 2016 yun yung concrete yung March 19 2016 yung uh, yung siguro the lowest D point eh, parang lowest uh, malapit dun sa time na yun yung confusing tapos di ko din alam I mean di naman siya intentional na March 19 ako papunta sa courage pero yun yung date and uh, from there nagdevelop na din uh, okay. so I agree po pala with Adi and Rolly na hindi siya parang hindi siya initiative from our side parang drawn uh, and parang si St. Joseph yung devoted sa atin hindi yung yung tayo yung initi- initiating kumbaga Then, yeah. So, si Brother Rap, yun, uh, kasi sa Courage meron po kami tinatawag na Courage Introduction Seminar. No? So, usually, uh, yun, uh, nas- nangyayari yun Saturday. No? So, uh, and kung sino yung santo on that particular day, tinatawag namin siya, yung batch is named after that saint. So, si Brother Rap belongs to the St. Joseph batch. So, nag- yung introduction seminar nun was March 19, 2016. No? So, ayun uh, yung nire-refer niya. So, uh, ako naman personally, so, uh, nakilala ko si St. Joseph through St. Teresa of Avila. So, uh, every year ako nagre-retreat uh, and it's a silent retreat. So, normally, ang companion ko sa silent retreat na yung mga works ni St. Teresa of Avila. And grabe, si St. Teresa of Avila, sobrang Sobrang ano, ang lakas makabenta kay St. Joseph. Talagang sobrang uh, pinopropagate na yung devotion to St. Joseph. And at the time, naging na-curious ako. Pero so, kung maga na, at the back of my mind na si St. Joseph. But when I joined Courage in 2014, meron isang Courage brother na nag-post na isang excerpt of a book on St. Joseph. Uh, St. Joseph as seen by the mystics. Eh. So available siya sa St. Paul's bookstore at the time. So binili ko siya, binasa ko siya, at grabe na fascinate na ako. So since then, I've been hooked. No? So uh, yun. And nakakatawa lang, no? tayo lahat, um, so we we are all same-sex attracted. No? So we are all attracted to men. No? So And yet, eh, si St. Joseph is a man diba, who's very virtuous. Diba? So siguro, yun ang maganda pag-usapan natin. Diba? Parang, Papano yung ating same sex attraction or attraction to men which is with which we can call as a para a broken form of masculinity diba so uh, if we're talking about from a catechetical language of the church papano ano yung role ni St. Joseph in that journey in our healing journey towards addressing our ma- uh, broken masculinity diba so yan so ito medyo <laughs> palalim na ng ating pag-uusapan ngayon so uh, anybody care to share yeah Pero siguro ano ko din sorry ha oh so ang feeling ko ano lumalim siya lalo no kasi for a while medyo medyo odo nagsisimba nga ako sa katedra ni San Jose pero nakikita ko kasi most of the most of the statues ni St. Joseph merong flower tapos medyo feminine ng features no so parang hindi ako ma ma-attract sa kanya at the time But 2017 came kung saan ako ay nag-undergo na uh, uh, retreat for daily life no uh, under uh, sa Center for Ignatian Spirituality so that is in Ateneo so I went there tapos yung aking spiritual director ay isang seminarista sa San Jose Seminary so I went there tapos nakita ko yung statong to no I I I saw it in front of yung yun 
<laughs> Eto na lang tayo. But I saw it there in front of San Jose Seminary. Tapos sabi ko, ibang, ibang San Jose to. Iba siya kasi parang lalaking lalaki, tapos nakaakbay siya kay Jesus, and then nagtuturuan siya, parang tinuturuan niya kung paano magkarpintero. So parang sabi ko, wow, what a powerful image of a father. So parang sabi ko, parang lagi ako nagdadasal sa kanya sa harap ng statwa niya before I come for spiritual direction. Kasi sabi ko, how, how, how deep is your masculinity? Gano'ng kalalim yung ituturo mo sa akin sa pagiging lalaki na dito sa dito sa estatwang pinapakita mo sa akin. Kaya talaga naghanap ako ng estatwang ganito. Talagang hinalap ko sa St. Paul. So kahit na medyo mahal siya, sabi ko, sige, pikit mata. Kasi parang I just wanted a representation of that kind of man. Kasi nga siguro, yun, 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 yung, yun yung malakas na tumatama sa akin na parang I wanted a model of what it means to be a man na na hindi hindi naman kailangan sobrang brusco no yung may abs or something di ba para yun yung konsepto ko kasi ng tunay na lalaki yung talagang malaking katawan na gwapo na but here is a man very simple lang siya nagtuturo siya sa kanyang anak no and 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 ang lakas nung dating sa akin nung imahin na ito. So parang, I think yun yung, yun yung isa sa mga bagay na nagpalalim sa aking deposyon sa kanya. Nagpasimula na na intindihin ko anong sinasabi ni San Jose sa pamamagitan ng kanyang buhay. And, and I feel na parang yun yung, yun yung isang bagay na tinuturo niya sa akin ngayon. No? Especially as I am now, start I'm a guidance counselor. So in a way, I'm, I'm starting to become a spiritual father to my students and how do I do that in the perfect God's way? So parang yung siguro yung, yung tinuturo ni San Jose sa akin. Sorry, ito na naman ako. No problem. Yan. So, uh, uh, so kay Rolly, no, parang, uh, so it's, she's, he's speaking from the heart. no. So uh, that's why medyo overwhelming yung emotions niya. But siguro yung, ang magandang sinabi niya is si St. Joseph is like a role model. No? So siya yung sa yung ideal male person hindi siya toxic hindi, hindi he does not imbibe yung tox, toxic masculinity that maybe the world is trying to uh, to push forward no so but rather siya yung genuine masculinity as god intended it to be na para kay Rolly siya ay role model no so adi ano sa tingin mo yung role ni St. Joseph yeah, role, yeah. Uh, in parang in your journey towards Uh, maybe addressing your broken masculinity no so uh, yun paano paano yun paano nakakatulong yung devotion mo kay St. Joseph in your journey with your same sex attraction well sa ngayon um admittedly naman uh, hin- nabawasan na talaga yung attraction pero yung since I started with the consecration marami akong mga uh, Parang na-realize about St. Joseph, his virtues, his ka- characteristics, na parang uh, parang drawn me to uh, attract, to be attracted to a man. But on parang more of really on a, a modeling type of man. Siguro most of this is yung pagiging responsible and yung uh, taking responsibility to a task parang ganoon na binibigay sa iyo parang siguro ngayon i parang may mga trabaho ako na feeling ko parang akala ko hindi ko kayang gawin pero i have to 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 be responsible on my action and and every action na gagawin ko parang iniisip ko parang oh si St. Joseph ginawa niya yun si St. Joseph ginawa niya to parang he was he was ve- parang silently as a father parang he, he was able to to do his job parang ganun is his responsibility sa sa parents so parang ako parang looking back parang sabi ko in my family parang uh, I, I was like parang inisip ko lagi yung relationship ko with my father yung 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 hin, hina, hinanap ko sa father ko parang pero pag inisip ko yan parang um It's to parang too late na for me to parang oy hindi ko na siya magagawa or hindi ko na siya masasabi para sa father ko parang hindi ko na ma thank mapapasalamatan yung father ko na parang oy thank you dad o tatay kasi ginawa mo to sa amin parang at the time nung nag-journey ako parang feeling ko laging kulang yung tatay ko sa akin parang 
wala siyang time sa amin po or sa akin, di ba? Kasi parang lumaki kami sa isang malaking pamilya tapos wala siya. Sa feeling ko at the time nung lumalaki ako, and even may, parang wala akong guidance. Parang ganun at that point. Pero parang ngayon parang kinukonsider ko na si St. Joseph as my spiritual uh, guide and gu- guide para sa akin in my journey. So kahit mag-isa ako ngayon as SSA, parang, pa- parang inisip ko parang magiging responsible din ako for myself and for other people. Parang ganun. Ganun yung hey. feeling na nararamdaman ko. So yun yung, so two points in mention ni Adi, no? So first is yung, yung emphasis sa St. Joseph the Worker, no? So the May 1, yun yung feast ng May 1 na kung kailan ang buong Pilipinas magko-consecrate kay St. Joseph. No? So as a responsible worker, ganyan, very dutiful. But second, ang, even in a more personal note kay Adi is yung yung relationship niya with his father no so who has passed on uh, and tamang-tama naman nagkaroon siya ng devotion kay St. Joseph so uh, i suppose na recognize niya yung yung work ni God in terms of healing him diba in in that relationship with his own uh, with his own father so yan yeah. so maganda yung and if may add din para Sige. parang ano parang since i started with the devotion parang i never had any parang image of St. Joseph. So parang as a, a, parang as an honor to him, parang uh, recently I've been collecting, I mean, making images from it started with Mama Mary and nagpapagawa ako ng ganyan and, and St. the Sacred Heart, ganyan. So dep- depende sa devotion ko at the time. So ito nga, kung makita mo dito sa gilid ko, ito pinagawa ko talaga nung the, the moment na I realized na I have to start with the devotion with St. Joseph. And sabi ko, Kaya na ako magpagawa, parang hinabol ko siya parang during the consecration. So, para, kaya sobrang special sa akin itong ano, parang ito yung special uh, image ni St. Joseph para sa akin that, that would remind me of my devotion to him. Yep. Ayan, parang okay. inalay ko ito talaga para sa akin. Okay. Yes, Ayan. thank you, Adi. So, uh, ko, yeah, so si, si Rolly at saka si Adi may mga, may mga images ni St. Joseph. Ako rin, yung background ko, ay, background ko pala is an image of St. Joseph. Ito naman, ginawa isa sang mosaic art ng isa sa mga priest chaplains of courage, si Father Eugene David. So, hindi lang siya, hindi lang siya priest chaplain, but he's also a mosaic artist. So, he even, he even trained under uh, Mari Rupnik sa Rome. No? So, uh, ginawa niya po itong mosaic na to in one of the parishes. So, napakaganda. No? So, yun po yung, uh, it's such an honor to 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 present his artwork uh, at least kahit malang zoom background no? so uh, yan so uh, and then yan so let's go to brother rap uh, so ikaw naman ano yung role ni St. Joseph bilang you belong to the St. Joseph batch of courage in 2016 <laughs> okay so more than a role parang person kasi siya eh. so um so uh, I Siguro with my background with uh, f- uh with a uh, family generational history then with background um fatherhood could be an abstract thing parang not just with my family probably with other families no and uh, men are I know diba are so to say um ano din, parang trying out how to be a, a good father. Now, I even if I'm uh, single and uh, I'm not planning to be married, I still get to be a father uh, and St. Joseph inspires me to be fruitful. Sabi ni, ni Father Donald Calloway um, sa uh, Theology of the... Doon pala, so isingit ko lang, si St. Yung si Father Donald Calloway, narinig ko siya sa, sa Theology of the Body Conference last year. And then doon niya na, na pakita yung lesson with Theology of the Body with Mary and Joseph. And one aspect of of um, of our bodies is uh, fruitfulness. So, yun. It's an abstract thing kasi coming of uh, I'm a person with SSA. It's so hindi ko may I cannot see St. Joseph alam niya siguro yung role niya specifically to me but in me I'm I'm also learning and getting to know him parang he's challenging us he's challenging me to be someone I didn't think I can be parang ganun yeah, okay. so 
mo, the, Kuya Rolly is right kasi nga there's a concrete example na the life of St. Joseph so from abstract may concrete tong, ano example and I honor actually Kuya Rolly for opening his heart <laughs> Yeah, that's hard, no? <laughs> so, yeah. So, and uh, Kuya Adi. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, tama naman yun. So, but anyway, yeah, so opening heart, but also just like St. Joseph, silent, no? And works in the background, no? So, uh, okay rin yun. Uh, so, medyo nakarelate ako dun sa sinabi ni Rap, no? So, uh, uh, St. Joseph is not, or fatherhood in itself is not an abstract concept, but a, a concrete concept no? or a concrete person in the case of St. Joseph. So I, I think medyo connectado din dyan yung feeling ko yung role ni St. Joseph in my healing journey, in my same-sex attraction. No? So I remember kami ng ni Rolly, siguro ng 2016-17, ah, sorry, 2014-15, we would go to Antipolo. Uh, so nagmi-ministry kami doon sa mga teenagers na LGBT person. So may mga madre na ginagather sila, pinapakausap sa amin. After siguro a year or two of doing that, may isang madre na nag-comment sa akin. Ang, ang intention ko lang naman noon is alam mo, alam mo parang to 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 have fellowship with these uh, teenager LGBT persons. And siguro in a personal way para kausapin ko yung teenager na self ko na who who are like them, no? flamboyant, ganyan, nagdadamit, nagba-blouse-blouse kahit uh, kahit boy no. So yun lang naman ang yung goal ko parang I, I wanted to speak or to reach out to my younger self na in the persons of these people but after after some time of doing that may isang madre na nag-comment sa akin na actually you're very fatherly to them parang sa, para actually nagulat ako doon sa doon sa doon sa comment ng madre na yun na parang yun pala yun di ba so akala mo lang na uh, kinakausap mo yung batang bakla yung <laughs> yung neneng self ko or i mean yung parang hindi ko naiisip siya na parang in, in the ministry work in the reaching out to others na who are also LGBT persons like me nagkakaroon na pala ng na parang uh, God is able to render it fruitful and makes it as an expression a concrete accept, uh, expression of fatherhood no? or generativity so yun so siguro ganun yung ganun yung tira ni Saint Joseph silent in the background but rather uh he is rendering my broken masculinity, my same-sex attraction, to be fruitful, just like any father is fruitful. No? So, yun. Uh, medyo uh, napakaganda yung usapan natin, pero we're running out of time. So, uh, before we end lang, no? so gusto pa namin pag-usapan to, siguro we will do it offline na lang in one of the sharing <laughs> meetings. By the way, nung, when we were doing the consecration to St. Joseph for March 19. Every week nagagather po kami sa courage no we dinidiscuss namin so ito parang extension lang sa nang ginawa namin for the past few weeks no so uh, yung uh, yung courage philippines po uh, through father Eugene David uh, one of our priest chaplains and also he's also an exorcist of the archdiocese of manila introduced to us yung devotion to saint joseph uh, ito po yon ay dito pala so uh, uh, so yung among the many devotions to St. Joseph kasi meron siyang tinatawag na St. Joseph Cord. No? So uh, it's a cord of purity uh, and chastity. So ini-invoke natin yung help ni St. Joseph as guardian of virgins uh, to be able to grow in the virtues of chastity and purity. So ang kailangan lang po e eh, magdadasal ka araw-araw ng seven glory bees in memory of the seven joys and sorrows of St. Joseph. And then meron lang siyang uh, daily prayer. And then, pero yung cord po, kailangan pong ma-bless ng pare. So meron, dito po sa pamphlet na yan, included yung blessing rite ng pare. So, where it is our desire to propagate this devotion, uh, this particular devotion to of the cord of St. Joseph. So, we're, we're making it available po through our Facebook page, Courage uh, Philippines. Uh, so mag-order lang po. Online lang naman po. So yung via GCash lang or bank deposit and then papa, papadala na lang po dun sa, dun sa inyo yung orders. So I hope you can help us uh, spread this devotion and let more people know uh, of the powerful role of St. Joseph in terms of guarding virginity and guarding purity and chastity. So uh, yun. So just just quick, some some quick final Final words and goodbyes to our podcast viewers na lang, uh, Brother Rolly. 
Yeah, maraming salamat po. And hopefully, hopefully we can be really imitators of St. Joseph. Uh, ako, malakas, malakas talaga sa akin, mirror of patience. Kasi hindi po pasensyosyo. Alam mo ng mga bakla, mga talakera. So, kumbaga, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to follow his example of silence and how okay. I can be silenced at the same time asking the, uh, the will of God for me. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Rolly. Brother Adi? Yes. Uh, uh, we hope uh, we'll be able to become uh, another St. Joseph uh, as we journey in our life. I know it's very difficult for us uh, sa ngayon, but I think with the help of St. Joseph, uh, the grace uh, to become another uh, St. Joseph will, will be on that uh, path. So just please pray for us as well. Thank you. Thank you, Adi and Brother Rap. Yeah, let's get to know Saint Joseph, and I'm also curious what other people are are pe- what other people's personal journeys with their with Saint Joseph. Then, so thank you for hearing us out. Yeah. So thank you. So the title of the podcast nito is "Be Not Afraid." No. So the context of it, it is taken from the gospel story when Jesus Christ uh, appeared to the apostles, being tossed by the stormy sea. No. Pero may konteksto rin po si Jesus Christ na be not afraid. So, nung, nung bata po siya, gusto po siyang ipapatay ni Herod, di ba? So, uh, ano yung nag-assure kay baby Jesus na huwag siyang matakot? It's, it was the protection of St. Joseph. So, uh, yun po. So, in that sense, uh, for this particular special episode, uh, sana whatever we're going through, uh, kung, kahit ano pa yung problema, darkness, confusion, or fears, uh, marinig natin yung sinasabi ni Jesus Christ na it is I, do not be afraid, na natutunan niya dahil naprotektahan siya ni St. Joseph. Again, uh, this is Edwin Valles, your host for Be Not Afraid. Uh, see you in the next episodes and uh, interviews of uh, this podcast. Thank you.